Number five, do not let your children do anything that makes you dislike them. This has sort of been a through yeah. line to at least the beginning part of our conversation. Yeah, well, the first thing is it's the monster thing, like the Beauty and Beast thing. You are not a good guy, and you will take revenge on your children if they misbehave. You think, oh, no, I, I like my children. It's like other people might not like them. Maybe they don't behave very well, you know, and you think you like them because you're a saint, but you're not. And you will take revenge on those children if they do things that make you dislike them. So you're in the grocery store and you've got a four-year-old and the four-year-old's pretty smart. And checking you out all the time, you know, like pro poking <laughs> you and prodding you and seeing what's there. Because that's what little kids do. They're not that verbal. So they're, they're, they're like, they, they, they have, you could compare their behavior in some ways to pack animals like dogs. Which is why they like dogs and get along with dogs. They understand each other, you know. And so they're testing you out. So they have a temper tantrum in the store, and you don't know what to do about it. What you do, your kid has a temper tantrum in the store, you pick up the child, you go outside with them, you stand them up somewhere, and just let them have it. Let them have the temper tantrum. It's like, they'll get sick of it soon enough. Go somewhere boring and dull. And say, well, have at her, man. And then the kid's done, you say, we're going to stand right here till you decide that you're going to behave. The child knows what that means. It's like, you're going to behave, or we're just going to stand here. It's like, fine, okay, you don't do that. The child has a temper tantrum. It's the third one, you know, and you're embarrassed, you're turning red, everyone's sweating, everyone's looking at you like you're a horrible parent. It's like really unpleasant. You think, oh, I love my child, I like my child. It's like, no, you don't. That's a lie. You go home, the kid's forgotten all about it, you know. They go in their room, they make a little drawing, they're all thrilled, they come out and show it to you. And maybe they did a really good job, you know? Maybe they're even a little guilty about having the damn tantrum. But you, man, you're not happy. And you think, yeah, that's nice. And you go back to whatever useless thing you're doing. And you think, I got that little bastard. Uh -huh. And you think, no, I wouldn't think that. It's like, yeah, wrong. You would. Wrong. Not only would you think it, you would act it out. And if you don't think that that's true, then you don't know yourself very well. And so you got to think, that little kid is little and powerless. Well, not as powerless as you might think, but huh. fundamentally, you got the upper hand. And you've got the proclivity for tyranny deeply rooted in you. And so, you better be real careful around that child. I, I used to tell my kids, you know, when I was not in a good mood, say, like, it would be better if you were in your room. Mm -hmm. And they didn't mind. They knew what it meant, you know. They were very young. They could understand that. It's like, I, you're a fine kid, you know, pat, pat, pat. I'm not in a good mood. Things are likely to be unpleasant. Why don't you just go play in your room for a while? It's like, way they went. They knew how to play in their room. You know, because I didn't want them being around me when I wasn't being going to be a good guy. Yeah. And so, and kids, they, they know they can handle that, man. They can't handle lies. They can handle that sort of truth. No problem. And so, like, I, both my wife and I, we were very careful. It's like, when, when we're starting to not be happy with the kids, with one kid or the other. It was time to have a chat and figure out what it was that had gone off the rails and how we were going to fix it so that we were like thrilled to have that kid around. And that's the thing about kids is you can be thrilled to have them around. Not always. You're tired. You're hungover. Like you've had a bad day. The kid's cranky. Like I'm not saying this is utopia. It's not. That's not the point. The point is, though, you, you can manage your relationship with your kids and you can have an honest relationship with them and then it will be the best relationship with anybody you've ever had in your life. 